I can't believe my car broke down, so it got towed away. Now how am I gonna get home? It's like 20 miles away. <sighs> well, hey. Wait, this one sounds like it's on. Hmm. You know what? It should be fine. I'll just borrow this car and then the owner will probably not be mad because I'm at least gonna give it back. All right, let's go in. Okay, let's get going. <sighs> okay, I got the, what, my car's gone. No, I knew I shouldn't have left the key in the car. <sighs> well, I know one thing to do. Hello, is this the police? Yes, um, it's an emergency. My car's been stolen. Yes, sir. So what's the description of your car? So it's a, it's a blue sports car. Okay, blue sports car. And what is the model and brand? Uh, it's a, it's a Mercedes. Okay, and what is the license plate number? It's C00L. G U four. Okay, sir. We're gonna send out some units and we'll drive around to see if we spot your car. And we'll pull over the culprit who has taken it. Oh, thank you so much. Please do the best you can. My car means a lot to me. Don't worry, sir. We're gonna do everything we can to reunite you and your car. Okay. Man, the way we handled Salvador Ferrero. Man, I never thought he'd, like, be a harasser to young women or something like that. Is that what company people do these days? I don't know. Not likely, but... Lots of companies would be shut down. Salvador Ferrero's, um... Companies getting shut down for sure because nobody wanted to replace him after they found out about his record Well, that's what it gets and this is what happens Okay officers listen up. So I just got off the phone with dispatch and I got a report about an auto theft Oh No, not a vehicle theft that's a really hard case to solve. Don't worry, Jasmine. It's our job to make sure that the car is back with its owner. So what we need to do is drive around and make sure to spot the car. And the culprit who stole the car is getting arrested for sure. Oh dear. So did the owner give you information about the car? Yeah, he sure did. So... So first, we gotta... We gotta meet up the guy at the parking garage. And then we're gonna drive around and look for the culprit. Sounds easy enough, I guess. Okay, Officer Jasmine and Officer Paul You'll be in charge, and I'm tagging along. Oh boy, for once, Captain Lisa's joining us. Okay, Captain. We should get our police cars ready. Okay, Captain, can I tag along with you? Sure thing, Jasmine. We gotta get going. Okay, okay. Jasmine and Paul, let's get going. Roger that, Captain. Okay, officers. All right, let's get going. Come on, Jasmine. Oh, come on, come on. Where are those cops? Good afternoon, 
sir. My name is Captain Lisa. I'm Officer Jasmine. And I'm Officer Paul. And we're here to help you search for your car. Oh, thank you so much, officers. So, what's gonna happen? Okay, so what we're gonna do is drive around until we see your car that matches the description you gave us. Okay, thank you. You can tag along with Officer Paul if you would like. Yes, please, I'd do anything to reunite with my car. Okay, come on, Jasmine, let's get going. Okay, sir, you can c come along with me. Perfect, okay. Okay, just two miles away from home. That's your car? Yes, it is. Okay. No, the cops are following me. Please, I command you to pull over. <laughs> I don't believe this. <sighs> Fine. Oh, good, she pulled over. I thought she was gonna speed away. She must know better. Okay, I'm gonna go have a talk. Okay, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Um, good evening, officer. So, um, you know why I pulled you over? Um, no, um, I was going, I was literally following the speed limit. Yes, you were, but unfortunately that's not why I pulled you over. Oh, okay, then why'd you pull me over? Is my license plate expired? Well, not quite. So, ma'am, so we got a report about a stolen vehicle, and the vehicle you're riding in matches the description. Oh, I, uh, uh... Can I see your license and registration, please? Um, sure. Hmm, Marie Lefevre. Okay. What about the registration, Miss Lefevre? Oh, um, I'm not sure I have it. Can you check your glove compartment? Um, I... Ma'am. Just... Give me the license, the registration. What are you, what's go, what, what are you afraid of? Okay, okay, I'll give you the registration. Let me just look for it. Okay, I'm waiting. Hmm, interesting. What's wrong, officer? You know, you don't, this doesn't seem to match your name. What are you talking about, sir? Well, your name is Marie Lefevre, but the registration says Alan Zimmerman. Who is that? Alan Zimmerman? Oh, uh, it's, uh, my husband. Your husband? Really? Yeah. You know, you should have, your last name should be Zimmerman, too, if you're married. Oh, um, I chose not to change my last name, that's why. Hmm... Interesting. Um, no, I'm not your husband. Oh, this is your car? Yes. You are a thief. Um, aren't you? No, you're not my wife. I'm already married. My wife's name is M Mandy. Oh. Mm, that explains a lot. Ma'am, step out of the vehicle. Okay. You are under arrest. <sighs> well, you shouldn't have stolen a vehicle. Captain Lisa, I caught the culprit. She's in handcuffs now. Alright, you're on your way? Okay. Alright, you got the culprit, Officer Paul? 
Yes, that is correct. She's standing right next to me. <sighs> okay, ma'am. Explain yourself. Ma-ma'am. I... My car broke down, so... I needed a way to get home. And so you steal a vehicle? Yeah. What other toys did I have? So, let me get this straight. You stole a vehicle because you needed to a way to drive home. Yes. My house is o was only 20 miles away from the parking garage, and I saw that this car was still running and no one was in there, so I thought I could take advantage. Ma'am, you should already know better that vehicle theft is against the law. You know that, right? Yes, ma'am, I'm aware, but what other choice do I have? Are you serious? You should have called an Uber. Yeah, or maybe you could have waited for me. I could have even been happy to give you a ride home. I guess I just never thought of it. Yeah, so, see? That's what happens when you steal a vehicle. I understand, ma'am. I deserve this anyways. Okay, well, alright, come on. Okay. Okay, Marie Lefever, you have the right to remain silent. Anything can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney, and if you cannot afford one, one will be assigned to you directly. Do I make myself clear? <sighs> yes, ma'am. Okay, Marie, let's go. Hey, wait. What is it, sir? <sighs> I... I don't want to press charges. You don't want to press charges, are you sure? Yeah, I mean, I understand that Marie does has nowhere to write home. Okay. What do you think, Officer Paul? Marie, do you agree with that? You don't want to press charges against me? Sir, are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. <sighs> You're free to go, ma'am. <sighs> Thank you. Sir, I'm really sorry I stole your vehicle. <sighs> okay, it's alright, ma'am. As long as you don't do it again. Don't worry, I I will never steal another vehicle again. Okay, how about I give you a ride home? Where do you live? Only two miles away. I can give you the directions. Okay, sounds good to me. Okay, well, you two have a great day. Thanks, officers. Okay, no problem. But Marie, we, have an, we got our eyes on you, and... Do not steal another vehicle again. Otherwise, we will place you under arrest. Okay, ma'am. Alright, let's go, Jasmine. Okay, officers, we're back. Um, where is the person who stole the vehicle? Well, Officer Rod, the owner of the vehicle decided not to press charges. Yeah, so it turns out the thief her car broke down, so that's why she stole the vehicle. So the owner of the car decided not to press charges because of this. <sighs> why not? Oh, Sergeant Bell. You sounded too excited to arrest that person. Didn't you ever tell me that never get too excited to arrest somebody? Yep, I did say that, didn't I? Okay. Well, as long as the person didn't press charges, then. Okay. Yeah. But we got our, eye our eyes on her. <sighs> yep. Make it one extra eye. <sighs> okay, Sergeant. Very funny. <sighs> <sighs>